Hey guys, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and uh, today I wanted to show you how to edit your system strings with Customize. Um, so the newest Customize is much better; it doesn't crash or anything. The only thing is that you need to get it from Cydia, so you can't really get it from IC. So it doesn't really work. I'm not quite sure why, but you want to go into Cydia and install Customize. I'm not really gonna get into that, but you guys should know how to spell Customize. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's just an app that a lot of people know about. Um, so you want to install that from uh, Cydia. And um, you'll come up with the app. It won't look like this. I've ha I have put a different icon on that looks cooler. But it'll be like uh, a rainbow swirl. And you want to open up Customize. And the new one does not crash at all. And if it does, then you know how to troubleshoot that. Turn off your Wi-Fi, 3G, Edge, that kind of stuff. And you want to go right there into Edit System Strings. And then click on whatever language you are. I um, speak English, as you can hear. And I'm going to change my um, power lock. Right now I already changed it to goodbye, but I'll change it to something else. I'll change it to um, uh, see ya. Alright, and then when it's done, I'm going to click save. And it said strings file saved successfully. Now, if this says fail to save or fail to save strings or something like that, then you need to troubleshoot it. Um, I, I'll have the solution in the description on what to do. So if it does, then just look into the video description and I'll show, and it'll have the fix right inside it. So this video shows you how to edit system strings, plus it shows you a fix for that little error. So once again, if it does this, then you're all good, and it'll work. But if it says, like, uh, strings saved, or uh, strings saved fa failed, or something like that, um, if it says it failed, then look into the video description, and it'll have the solution. It used to say that for me when I um, first got customized 2.2.1. It said, like, failed, but I found the solution, and it's pretty easy. Um, it just involves SSHing into your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPhone 3G. So I saved it and um, it's done. I'm going to press the home button and I think it's going to respring. Yep, it's going to respring. So we're just going to wait for it to respring and I'll show you the power. Um, and it, you could see, you saw all the little the strings that you could change. I chose to do power instead of unlock because the slider that I'm using does not show the slider text, and I'll show you in a second that. See, the slider doesn't even show any text, so that's why I decided to show you the power. Sorry. Alright, so I'm going to press the power button right there. One, two, three, four. And there you go, it says see ya. Um, this is the way with customize, um, and I'll see you guys later. iPod Touch for Life 165 here.